Hello and welcome to 3 Dotto TV. I'm your host Shikha Singh. Let's have a look at the buzzing stocks of the day. The momentum in crypto markets shows no signs of slowing as Hong Kong Eno explodes 50,000 percent in an earth-shattering pump heralding a return to the Chinese narrative of February. Many traders will recall a surge in interest and attraction for Chinese-linked crypto projects in February 2023, following the seismic news that Beijing had approved Hong Kong's crypto ambitions. As the fever swept markets, major projects such as Neo, Filecoin, and Conflux Network saw gains up to 1,000 percent. And now, after a high octane meme coin season in April and May, that saw the likes of SpongeBob token and Copium make similarly impressive moonshot returns, it appears that the Chinese narrative has returned. Things kicked off with a whooping 20,000% pump for skyrocketing China coin early this week, and this was quickly followed by a moonshot of NIHAO, which surged a shocking 40,000%. Furthermore, Hong Kong Inu was trading at 63% down in the last 24 hours. Terra Classic is one of those assets that found new life once it was placed in the hands of the community, and the community's efforts are now bearing fruit. Following the announcement of its version 2.1.0 upgrade, the LUNC community began to rally this token, increasing its value by 7.45% in the last 24 hours. The latest upgrade would be Terra Classic's third, thanks to the LUNC Burn Army. The following are the key points mentioned in the proposal for the aforementioned upgrade. The upgrade proposes a minimum commission of 5% for validators. This would attract more validators to the chain, allowing Terra Classic to become a more stable Cosmo Vasmo Point 1.1 is a smart contracting platform built on the Cosmos ecosystem, written as a module that can plug into Cosmos SDK. Cosmo Vasmo 1.1 is the second iteration of the system that will now be integrated with the Terra Classic ecosystem. LUNC was trading 18% up in the last 24 hours with a market capitalization of $623 million. Ripple has collaborated with Dora Hacks to announce an online hackathon in support of innovative projects. The goal of the exercise is to get developers from various backgrounds to experiment with new ideas and transition from centralized systems to blockchain technology. The Summer XRPL Online Hackathon has been scheduled for June 5th to July 30th, 2023. The hackathon's total prize pool is $60,000. This will allow participating projects to win up to $10,000 in development funding. They will also uh, work with the Ripple team for non-financial assistance. Dora Hacks, a Ripple partner, encourages participants to continue exploring the various opportunities on its platform after the hackathon. It encouraged them to apply for other programs on its platform that would enhance the development of their projects. Ripple was trading at $0.53, up 3% in the last 24 hours, with a market capitalization of $27 billion. According to recent Into the Block data, the volume of large transactions involving Shiba Inu token has increased dramatically. Since June 1st, these transactions have increased by $10.7 million, representing a significant increase of 310.69%. This translates to a 1.24 trillion SHIB increase in the last 24 hours, bringing the total to 1.65 trillion SHIB. It is worth noting that these large transactions are only considered if they total at least $100,000. The recent surge in large transactions involving the Shiba Inu token sheds light on the token's price action secrets. Such bursts of activity from prominent investors typically occurs when during periods of relative market inactivity. Shiba Inu was trading at 1% down in the last 24 hours with a market capitalization of $5 billion. Arbitrum's price jumped alongside the top cryptocurrencies on June 2nd after the United States Senate voted to raise the debt limit. Arbitrum rose 9% to an intraday high of $1.25, outperforming the crypto market's overall gains of 1.5% during the same period. Notably, on June 2nd, the co-founder of Mechanism Capital deposited $1 million in Arbitrum pools and spent more than 20% of it on RDNT, the native token of decentralized finance. Typically, investors deposit tokens into cryptocurrency exchanges in order to sell them. This increases the likelihood of ARB pulling back in the coming days and demand falls. Surprisingly, the technical setup of the token on the daily chart suggests the same. Notably, after a strong downward move, ARB has printed what appears to be a bear flag as evidenced by the price consolidating between two rising parallel trend lines. A bear flag usually resolves after the price breaks below the lower trend line and falls by the height of the previous downtrend. 
ARB was trading at $1.17 down 4% in the last 24 hours with a market capitalization of $1 billion. That's it in today's special segment. For more such updates, follow 3.0TV or log on to our website www.3worstv.io or scan the QR code to know more.